I, yeah. I think well, I don't have to agree with someone politically to get along with them. No, though. I know, but I, I just it makes it much easier. Yeah, I, you know? I guess. I don't but know. But I, I think you, and the other thing about you is if we didn't get along in that department and you and I were still the same, let's just, I'll hear you if you're saying stuff that is. Yeah. Listen, I've had, I have friends that are super conservative yeah. that I actually will go to. I'm like, I'm like, I have a real tough time just uh, yelling this one to death. <laughs> and, uh, you know, cause they, they, they will, they will come back with evidence and facts. And, and it, again, it, for me, a lot of that stuff then comes down to, okay, how are we interpreting these facts? Right. Right. Um, and you know, basically it comes down to my way of interpreting it is right. hundred percent of the time. <laughs> yes, and yes. yours is not. So, um, I, uh, no, I, I mean, I, I enjoy discussing uh, politics with people I disagree with. The only thing I don't like is, like, if I'm talking to a conservative friend and, hmm. you know, their response to everything is butter emails and oh, Benghazi, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that gets listen, really tired. Listen, Hillary's a satanic, pedophile, awful, disgusting, should be in jail for horrific... I take that back. I don't know for a fact. She's <laughs> right, right. But based on stuff I've read in the circles that they run in and the weirdos that, that, that go, go along with a lot of that... Yeah, left end stuff uh, is just as bad as the racist we, red. Yeah, we 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 got a call. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hello. He hung up when he realized he wouldn't get a word in edgewise. It might be the Phantom. All right, nobody there. Okay. Oh, Fred. Uh, there. Fred Bonig, by the no, uh, Fred Bonig. Uh, from the Daily Ripple uh, just sent me a, a song I can play later about uh, Trump's taxes or, or a song for Trump's taxes. Uh, the check's in the mail. <laughs> it's called. Uh, I look forward to that. Thank you, Fred. Fred always sends me great stuff. He's a, he's a radio guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I like I enjoy. Oh, hello to uh, Dr. Jeff Cassell in the Facebook live chat. Fred says, uh, no, it's not just as bad. LOL. Um well, he, he, he's talking about so Fred would disagree with you about what you said about Hillary. OK, because because Fred Fred will often defend Hillary because what happens on the show is, oh, and since we're talking about Hillary Clinton, it, it's kind of a, a rule that and it's my own fault. I brought it up, but uh, we have to play this in the background. Uh, so um, it's uh, oh, her voice. And Do you imagine four years in that? <laughs> Fred's Trump, albeit dangerous and scary and wrong, <laughs> is uh, entertaining <laughs> with his stupidity. Fred says 30 years of income taxes, 30 years of investigations, and nothing. Referring to Hillary. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Dude, let's look at the fact. Let's just look, look at her as a human being. Yeah. Start with that. Okay. Start with her detail that protected her uh, uh, when she was uh, the first wife in, in uh, Arkansas. Look at people that were close to that family and listen to how she is as a person. She's, she's terrible. She's a smiling liar. Mm. Constant, I'm probably revving up a lot of liberals. Right <laughs> and, and I'm sorry. I just, like I said, I equally yeah. hate uh, bad people. Because yeah. no matter what side they lean towards. Let's uh, let's grab this call. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Oh, how are you today, uh, Officer McGuire? Oh, Answer the police. How are you today? Oh, Mr. McGuire, how are you, Bob? You two know each other? Yeah, he's all right. He's nice. Uh, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I know you're, you're doing the show there. The reason I'm calling, I don't know if it's you. I'm not making any accusations. There's a fair amount of hooligans popping uppers and downers, going around, coloring the town with their little spray cans, okay? And I'm not accusing you, but I'm here to tell you, if I do catch you out there, someone's out in my neighborhood doing overpasses, painting female breasts with erect nipples and all kinds of inappropriate things for the kids. I'm going to tell you one time. My mother won Miss Manchester in 1978. This means a lot to me in town, all right? I don't want you doing nothing bad, so I'm going to tell you one time. If I catch you, I'm going to make you clean it up. I, I just, Maguire, when did they start hiring cops from Alabama to come to Manchester? <laughs> it's ridiculous. You can make your jokes, bub, all right? You can make your jokes. <laughs> all right, but I'm, I'm glad you responded right now, you back with me. the bub. You that pass me on the, on the road, and, you, and I hear any rattling in your bag. Not only am I going to strip you, I'm going to make you eat your spray can. Because I don't want you vandalizing the GD town. Listen, I'm not accusing, bub. Listen, right? man, I'm not a, I am not buddy, a right? uh, vandal. I'm not a vandal. Get back on duty. I don't disrupt public property. 
Oh, he hung up. You've never or a uh, private property for that matter. You've never painted a dongle on uh, in, never once. I've not prof. painted a single dongle uh, where it that's shouldn't a, have been painted. That's a big relief. No, I do not. I do not. Uh, I do not partake in vandalism. Yes, yes. You know what? Uh, that uh, that that's uh, a fact. That disavowal of uh, vandalism deserves a little. Uh, <laughs> good for you. Good Huge for you. fan of street art. Uh, yeah. I, I am also anti-vandal. Yeah, I don't think that's cool at all. No, no, I agree with you. Uh, hello to uh, John Midas Manning in the uh, Facebook live ah, chat. DJ my Midas. Old, my oldest, one of my oldest and closest friends right there. Yes. Well, and a, 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 a friggin' awesome guy. Great abs- friend. Absolutely, and he has a show here on WMNH uh, every Saturday and Sunday night from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Late Night Delight with DJ Midas. It is uh, quite wonderful. It is. Listen, if... If you, first of all, if you're from Manchester and you don't know who Midas is, um, get get yourself familiar. Um, in my opinion, I'm not just saying this because it's my friend. I know a lot of other people that would back this statement. Um, oftentimes, DJs like aren't considered like real musicians, or they they're playing other people's music. Listen, I don't care who you, who you are. If if you can can put together. The, the pairings of songs, the, 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 the just oh, the yeah. way that they're put together, the, the, the stylings, the cuts, the blends. The, the, he is by far, in my opinion, the most creative DJ I've ever heard, period. Oh, yeah. Um, he's so original, so uh, his sets are just so methodically, like, uh, you know, put together. And, and that's that is from a year of uh, years and years of cataloging thousands and thousands of hours of music that he continues to keep his collection fresh. And I imagine that's been much easier when now that things have been digitized. Oh, yeah, because, no doubt. Because uh, I don't think 1000 Elm Street would be able to hold the amount of vinyl this kid had when we were, when we were uh, coming <laughs> on. But uh, he, he is by far uh, the, the best DJ I've ever heard who's made other people's music his own it's it's ridiculous uh let's see fred uh from the daily ripple says uh fact 30 years and nothing but let's hear what you have that isn't third hand info oh my god dude he's picking give a, this guy my personal number he's, he's picking a fight will, he's will, picking a fight with you on hillary that's fine yeah. mo- mo- most most softer than a sneaker full of grapes people do but i'm just kidding sir i don't know you're probably huge probably beat the snot out of me yes but i uh, i already said i don't own any no, he's he's not uh, he's not no. a violent person. No, no for- I, and neither am I. I just I no, I, I just know. think, sir, and and I respectfully I respectfully uh, disagree with that. I couldn't be able to pull up a ton of stuff. Like I said, I just can't do that now. I would absolutely do that, um, in another forum or on your forum if we wanted to do that. Um, but uh, I'm ha- I would be happy to have a discussion, a uh, friendly back and forth emails, whatever, with this gentleman trading uh, stuff that I find from from sources that are you know just as uh questionable as any source you no. know i mean no. mm-hmm. I, w- w- it is hard to find uh you know what is what is true there's 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 your side my side and then there's the truth and and it takes a lot to get to potentially what the truth is and oh i, I thought, just think hillary sucks i thought you were gonna say it takes a village well, I, just, I can just tell you i'm a pretty good judge of character ah i am mm-hmm. and i'll tell you she sucks. You know who's Trump little, sucks too. Well, yeah. You know who's a little. Uh, oh, uh, Midas says, uh, "Guys, thank you." Um, you Welcome. Know, you know who's a little sweet on her is, uh, I think, uh, John Hopwood. Is he? Well, listen. When I was when I was a young you like when I was a younger fella when uh, oh, about seven or eight inches. Yeah, he's a little uh, sweet on yeah, her. Yeah, like I said, when I was a younger fella, seven yes. or eight inches. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I used to think Hillary was hot. Oh yeah, you know back when. Uh, in the you know in the early days of the yeah, when yeah. The, well when the you know when the CIA was was flying cocaine into the United States to help start <laughs> oh my single handedly start the crack epidemic oh my uh, in black communities oh um they well, were landing in an airport I think I've told you this we, at, oh which, yeah yeah no, on your show and, and yeah, oh absolutely uh, we have a call hi welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed who's this oh it's that crazy guy Fred <laughs> <laughs> my old pal Fred from the Daily Ripple how are you sir I thought I might hear from you uh, another fine day in paradise yes yes welcome I, I was just letting him go on he was uh oh which was, I will he was You'll going love to it to happen, trust the cocaine me. and all that that happened in the 80s oh so uh, that, um, oh, no, which, no, that's wonderful which wait, was under wait, Reagan but go I, ahead it was under Reagan okay okay 
Did, now, so you're going to get me to do it. Hillary okay, again? All right. First of all, Mr. Uh, what is it, Fred? Fred? Yep, Fred Bonig. Right. Yep. Fred, first of all, so. And, and, just, uh, and, and before you go on, just so you know, uh, I voted for Ronald Reagan. I voted for George H. Bush. I voted for Ross Perot. I voted for George W. Bush. I voted for B- uh, Barack Obama. I voted for Bernie Sanders. And then I voted for Hillary. I have met. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I, I, met I, Hillary, I, I First met of all, Bill, I want to say I've that I appreciate Trump. I've met all. So first of all, go, well, go, 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 go ahead. I, I'm, I'm being rude. I, I'm, no, I'm just, I, I think you, no, all I'm saying is, is that you, you don't know, go all these years that they, they've had, you know, the, the most rabid, you know, right wingers trying to get her. They've, they've never pulled it off. I mean, if, if they couldn't pull it off in 30 years, somebody's got to say, OK, well, maybe we need to go for a little bit easier target. Somebody that that doesn't have his his uh, his you know thirty years of investigation, and then in two years they found that he's a major crook. He's all these things, but we're going to focus on Hillary, who they've yet to find anything. I mean, Benghazi again, you know, Benghazi, well, right? I mean, they did that investigation; they found nothing. They found nothing in her server. That you know, just okay, wait, wait, all the just just just. I I I get what you're saying. First of all, let me start with this. I respect the way that you said you would vote for Ross Perot. You you kind of go back and forth a little bit. Seems like you kind of lean right. I would guess politically you probably my lean right. My whole life, my yeah, whole life until I, 2010. Okay, and, and I don't, and, and that's fine. I honestly don't care which way a person leans, left or right. But I want to address one of the first things that you said, which was. Oh, the CIA and the cocaine, that started in the 1980s. So right there, I'm like, okay, so we have a time frame on when horrific, terrible stuff it has a statute of limitations. So maybe maybe her personally, but she, listen, she, this woman has been in cahoots with her husband and every slime from the beginning of time. So 1980s, so maybe but she... But they never had, caught him doing anything. They never That's caught the him doing they, anything. Dude, they never ca- actually caught them who doing anything. Who investigates them? That was trial. Who investigates them? Who investigates the top echelon? All right wingers they investigated. Who do you think Bossy is? Bossy, Dude, listen. You know Bossy first of all, is? you're talking to somebody who literally thinks they're satanic and like sa- I do. <laughs> I literally think the country, the world over, is run by lizards. I'm not joking. I really do. Okay. So that's who you're talking to right now. <laughs> so I, like right away, I know you probably are going to discount everything, everything I say. You're going to discount <laughs> everything I say, but that's only because. You have only... I don't believe in lizards. Right, which to me is right. is ridiculous because you haven't read into all of these things that if you if you just look at it, it's just like it's so plain and easy to see. I, I'm not joking. I know I sound like a nutcase, and I really don't care. But For the record, I believe in lizards. I just don't believe in lizard people. Yeah, I, yeah right. Okay. I believe in lizards, too. I, oh, okay. right. I've seen lizards Reptilians, all my life. Anunnaki. Oh, okay. Trust me. I, Fred, Fred, I thought you were, Dude, I thought I, you were a I, lizard I, denier. I was confused. It's no, a, no, I'm not a lizard denier. I, I believe, I believe in geckos. I believe sure. in, oh. in, in, in lizards. I believe in alligators. When do, when do you believe, believe that? Um, when do you, at what point do you believe that our true history and like in writings? Uh, so anything written by like ancient ancient times is that all BS? All that stuff? You mean the people who thought the world was flat? Uh, the people that worship the sun? The people. Who, <laughs> The people that worship the sun, you mean, you mean, you mean, hold on, the people that worship the sun, yes, the people that worship the sun that every, every religion virtually is based on? Dude, look how many. Well, yeah, because they sat there at the edge of the, you know, they had millennium to sit at the edge of the hillside and watch the sunrise and mark where it was right. in the skies because of no light pollution. They right. actually Look, see the stars. Sir. Yeah, I believe that they, they, they made up crap that they believed, yeah, that they could tell time and they could do numbers based on that. Yeah, right, and, and, we're, and we're a society in which, and by the way, let me just make this real clear, I'm not a flat earther. But I also, okay, good, but, I also <laughs> but I also don't discount every flat earther as a moron. I actually will listen to them. And I guarantee you, if you get in a in a, in a back and forth with a, with a with a well read uh, flat earther, which they do exist, oh, I think they're wrong, but they, they they're there. They're everywhere now, and they yeah. probably know more scientifically than most than right. most people that would just. I'm telling you, the Earth is is round because I saw the shape of it when I was getting here from my home planet. 
Michelle. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Listen, all right. I'll, I'll take you down all sorts of rabbit holes. Yes, yes. No, well, listen. I, I started believing the Earth was round when my father gave me one of the original Lovell photographs that was signed by the. Oh, gee, dude, that you actually see, took that picture and it hung in my bedroom window. I mean, because they I'm, took it from my bedroom dude, wall. See, so he's going to make me say stuff big, that like makes me sound like flat Earth. Saw it. Dude, don't, oh my God, why does no picture of outer space like the Earth? Not one of them looks anywhere close. They, they they admit they have to use Photoshop, this and that. But they, I mean, dude, you're getting me way off topic, which is so easy to do. So easy. To do. You sound you sounded like you were about yeah, to make the flat Earth but, argument. But, but I, you, I'm you going to make. To, I, dude, to, some to of the, the stuff they say is compelling. Stuff that, that's very obvious. That's where very to obvious stuff obvious like that. We are and not that, assume everything is a conspiracy. That's all. My no, point. everything is not a conspiracy. The, the, the one thing is conspiracy. Everything. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Basically said the same thing that you said. Right? <laughs> no, listen. Listen. I, I have come to find out that everything I'm told is just, listen, I wasn't, believe it or not, sir, I was not, uh, I was not an ace student growing up. Uh, and that actually has zero to do with my intelligence because uh, never, my friend, mistake education for intelligence. There's a huge difference. Well, I think okay? we can all agree on that. Yeah. yeah there's, a, there's a huge difference. Now, I've come to find out. So, well, listen, sir, let me ask you this. We start, I hope, if, if there's any children under like 12 listening right now, have them leave the room because I don't want to be this guy that ruins something for kids. About Santa Claus? Yeah, dude. From, from the <laughs> beginning of time, you're taught not to, not to lie, right, by your parents. Yet, they help tell the biggest lie that literally will will destroy some children's like entire psyche about yes. trust right so now you're telling me that and, and all my teachers have told me that was true so i go to school and i'm told what and i'm told certain things are a certain way and i am taught to memorize information i am not taught to actually go out and, and research and look for stuff no you're told this is this uh if you want to know why Look on chapter 13 where somebody else wrote, wrote that. So, if you, listen, I just know the earth is, isn't flat. I, I, I have no reason to tell you why. Right. I, just, I just know it's not. Right. It's just because of basic stuff. But Yeah. It might happen so when you happen to see the, the eclipse and that round circle that travels across the, <laughs> the, the moon. Yes. Which kind of give you Dude, the I worry that about shape-shifting reptilians, like, messing with me, okay? So, I, I like... Like, I, I, I don't, it's, let me just say this. Let me just, just say this. <laughs> there is enough stuff without getting as deep into the lizard stuff uh -huh. uh, as there's plenty of it for you to find if you wanted to look for it. For example, I love this one because this gets people riled up. 9-11 was an inside job. Uh-oh. Okay? Uh -oh. It was 100% without a doubt. And if you even scratch the surface a little bit on that subject matter... It's just blatantly evident, okay? I don't need to go into... See, because this is the thing. People will like, oh, tell me why. And it's like, dude, I, I've spent so many hours, like, <laughs> when, when you people would say, well, you should have been out doing something constructive. Yeah, like what? Following suit? Listening to everybody else and just doing doing what everything, everybody's telling me? No, sorry. I, was, I, I spent hours after planes flew into... The World Trade Center, almost murdering my brother, okay, who worked there. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. Oh, so, he was there. So don't come at me with that. Wow. I'm not saying this guy did come at me with that. I brought it up. Right, right. But don't sit here and be like, well, that's being rude to the dead. No. Ignoring the truth is absolutely disrespect. Yeah, laugh it up, dude. 3,000 people lost their lives in just those buildings. Cops, firefighters. Sir, let me ask you one question. Why... Why would a, would, a, would, a, would a federal grand jury be hearing evidence of a controlled demolition now? Why? Sir, why, why would they get... be why would they be listening uh, having a, a grand jury saying that there was a de it was a demolition job? Yes. They 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 would need compelling evidence to say that they're going to have that trial, that hearing. Y yeah, Matt, no, you they can wouldn't look need it up. compelling sure. evidence. They would only need compelling evidence for the grand jury to to indict them. oh so you so, so, so you can just you can, so I can just like to get a grand jury just have somebody 
say it, and then they say that's, that's why they all have it takes? grand jury. Oh my God, Matt! I'm because have a grand jury if, if there was you. compelling evidence, then Donald Trump would be, you know, would long be in prison. Dude, Donald because Trump had is an ass. Many many hours of grand juries without compelling evidence. Well, you know what? He, you know, he, he's, he's if he if he ever gets indicted, he'll probably skip town to one of his pee parties over in in in, in Russia. Dude, listen mm-hmm. to me. You la- you just laughed that off, and I can already tell by the way you just laughed that off that you have. Literally, probably zero knowledge in in what happened in nine eleven. Literally zero. Oh, I, I have to disagree with that. I don't okay. know. I, 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 I would love I, to I hear did, why I, I why it was not the, a, the panel like, that that was the uh, at the ten year anniversary. Oh, you, it, you, we oh. went through the entire report. Yeah. Um, sitting there, I mean, what, I, I, how, I did how about do the that. Families, how about the families of the victims, dude, it. that were there that had none of their questions, none of them answered by by the commission. How come Building 7 was left completely out of the report, dude? Completely out of the report. Why? That's what I thought. I don't know. You tell us, no, tell us no. why it was left out. Dude, I'm not going to answer your lack of not even knowing that <laughs> with, a, with an answer. Oh, no, I knew no, it wasn't in there. One more fact, question, I play dude, a song since now you really got to it. it up. But that's okay. No, no, no. Let's uh, talk I'm about this. Why did we get into the Vietnam out. War? This is my favorite one. What was the main thing that led to us getting into the Vietnam War? That killed 55,000 Americans, dude. Okay? Keep them in mind. And all the and all the homeless vets that are out there that get zero respect now that they're home and on the streets. No respect. No dignity given to these guys who saw some of the most horrific stuff in their life. Why did we get brought into that war? The one big thing. There was an incident in the Gulf of Tonkin. Remember what happened? Yes, yes. They, yes, they faked it out. They, they said that they were attacked, and they really weren't. No, okay, yeah. no, that's not a big deal, right? Because it was probably 20 years. Oh, it was. It was no, just, well, just, it's the it same was, thing as it's the it's same, same thing, thing as the saying CIA running we, they are throwing the babies States. out of incubators. It's the same thing. It's the same it's thing. It's the what? same thing as them right now starting a Hold war on, with Iran. Did he just say Iran. something about the, the and, what, and you're the talking Iraq, to the guy who's, who's chased down all the hawks. We know what that was about, right? Yeah. Is he is he agreeing with me on that? Because I I, I, I I think so. You were saying it's the same thing as the babies being thrown on the floor from the incubators in Iraq, right? Well, the the Which claim never happened. The Which claim, never happened. No, yeah, it never but, happened. Right. Nobody seems to have a problem with that. Everyone's just you're yes, okay. Yes, well, okay. most most people don't. No, I've, I've Fred yeah, talked about. Most people don't know why because it's not on the news. You have to dig for that. Right, stuff. right. Well, and Fred, it sounds like if he knows that he does. He he. Well, Fred, I didn't Fred's, mean to spread. I, and yeah. by the way, dude, this is just how I talk to anybody. By the way, yes, I, I'm, I'm like, it's, like it's, it's okay. Like a, but let me let me explain you something because I know Matt's going to say it next, but I'll say it for him. Fred's a gold star dad. Fred has taken on Tom Cotton. Fred yeah. has taken on Lindsey Graham. Fred has taken on Adam Kinzinger. Fred has taken on Tom. Uh, Ted Cruz. Fred has taken on all these guys. Yeah, guys that currently have dignity on live camera I'm not one of them. about these issues. Right. Okay. So, so you're wh- just talking to somebody who gets the thing about war. Yeah, okay, good. I'm, dude, I'm nothing. staunchly anti war, period. I think it's disgusting that, that we do what we do to our youth. Dude, an 18 year old yeah. kid is a child. Yeah. Five years from now, that could happen to my son. Yeah. Like, dude, you but, better have but, somebody at hey, my effing door. Nine years ago, it happened to mine. And I have three other kids serving. And God bless them so for I, doing I get that, it. Dude. I mean, I'm a gold star dad. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and that dude. Means and, I, I was in Arlington last week when, yeah. when, where my son was buried nine years ago. So, I mean, I get that. I, I, I'm, I'm good. anti-war and I'm, and, and for a lot and of reasons. I'm sorry for your loss, and I, and I respect you so I much for, for having okay. the courage to do that. But I, but I get it. I mean, just so you understand, I get it. Good. Good. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Because I, I too have been, uh, I, I had a childhood friend. Uh, we grew up together playing like little league. He was my goalie on my lacrosse team my entire career. Um, he, he was a, a, an awesome kid, an awesome kid who got into a little trouble when he was in his, in his, you know, teen years. And it was back, uh, so this was like 1995, 96, when it was like the tail end of when a judge could be like, all right, kid, listen, you're going to the big house for two years, or what branch of the military are you uh, going to join? Yeah. And he joined the Army. He did four years as a cook, realized, like, he's kind of turning his life around. Did, uh, excuse me for getting a little, I just, um, after doing his, his time as a cook, he reenlisted as, as a, as a, uh, airborne, uh, infantryman, worked his way up. This kid, uh, ended up serving 
all the way up until he would have been, I think it was like three more months and he could, and he could have retired, mm. all the way up to where he was a, a, an effing Green Beret. Wow. He served four tours, uh, two in Iraq, one in Afghanistan, and one in like Korea early on. And he had a wife, three kids, and he lived down in North Carolina. He got a phone call three months before he was about to, uh, about to uh, you know, retire with a full pension. And uh, he, he, he walked outside his car when he found out he was going back, walked out to his car with his kids and his wife in the house and blew his head off, dude. Oh, my God. Yep. Wow. So excuse me if I get pissed that our government lies. Oh, yeah. It's a business. War is a business. Ultimately. I, so I, I, I get have, pissed I off, dude. Book. I, I get yeah. pissed off when I find out they lie and people just go, oh, well, well, it happened. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Like, dude, yeah. I don't, I, dude, I trust my mom. I trust my dad. I trust my family. My, my girlfriend, my, my, my people I trust. I don't trust some a-hole in a suit because he says so. Cause you know what? I've been lied to a lot of them before. Yeah. All right. This has nothing to do with lizards. That's a whole different thing right. of why I believe them. Uh, again, uh, again, when, since we, well, instead of diverting, we, we're off the subject, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Which is will happen when you we, talk to me. We go on, <laughs> we go on and we go on with about Hillary and we say all these things, but, but we say things that, that they, that are, are not true. And, okay. And, and again, and, and again, me, and that, I can that, make that, the that argument is, simple is for not, anyone that wants to talk to me good. about this stuff. I can make it very simple. I think that we should, dude, I don't trust any of them. None of them. I think that, like, my dad should run for president, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause I, like, at least I know that my dad's not going to send my kids to or yours, because my dad was a naval, Navy avi- aviator, so he flew A-4 Skyhawks. Like, my, my dad's a, a, a badass, dude. Like, he, he was yeah. a, to do f- landed warplanes on aircraft carriers. He, he doesn't want to send people to war. I mean, yeah. it's just... I, we're, we're, we're nuts, dude. We're nuts with the way that we do stuff. We have way too much crap. Huh. We, don't, we don't need any off-season microphones in here. I mean, maybe we do. Huh? But there's just, we don't need, I, like, I don't need a new phone. Yes, I get them all the time because I grew up in this right. weird-ass society that we, <laughs> we belong in. But, dude, bread and sir, I don't get behind, like, dude, I enjoy football games. I enjoy sporting events. You will, you will see me cringe when somebody's like, oh, like they can spout off every freaking stat of some the millionaire that catches the ball. I'm not saying that that's that, like, dude, good right, for anybody right. that can be that kind of athlete. Like, fantastic. Yeah. But let's call it what it is. Yeah. It's bread and circus, dude. They're going to distract us from one thing while they do another. It's just we're, we're, right, we're, right. Meanwhile, we're about to maybe invade Venezuela, yeah, and, and they don't, and they dude, don't notice. Yeah. No, it's it's, just, I think you're right. It goes on. And on. I appreciate you, you, you actually bearing and anyone else that hasn't turned their radio off from my screeching and ranting no i it's it's but, uh, uh i think it's good radio actually but uh all right so you got have you guys kind of uh no, I, I, dude, listen I, I get a lot of respect <laughs> for this guy actually. yeah yeah uh, well you should no fred's fred's amazing and he's and he's a fantastic journalist he does oh you're a journalist oh, you is. should have me write an insane column for whatever company you work for <laughs> well i don't know if fred's I, going I, to be I, uh... I, I work for myself i own a magazine fantastic. I'll see you the tomorrow Daily morning Ripple. and it's the dailyripple.org <laughs> and you nice. can go there and and read and uh, but but again, all I say is when you talk about the Clintons and it never ends, it, 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 thirty Sweet years, nice. thirty years. I'm just saying, how long do we get to beat the drum with as things that nobody's ever proved to get overturned that and go on overturned. and go on and go on? You can have your opinion that's true, but but opinions are uh, opinions based on lies are still lies. Opinions based on things that are not necessarily true are still. Not factual. Well, so, I mean, so that's all my at, point at what, is, is point, like, you know, there's things that we, we, we focus on her when we have a guy that they, they just proved that didn't pay income tax, has probably committed tax fraud, has done all these things. But when we keep directing ourselves to somebody who's a private citizen, who is not a, the president, who is not, who is not in any say, say, sense of the word in power. That oh, they've never proved power. anything on, that they've all had bad they're thoughts about, power, but never proved that. But this, we have this other person that we prefer to talk about, Hillary Clinton. That's just my point. I, I listen. I, I, I. Only reason I go to Hillary Clinton is because usually when I say Trump sucks, somebody's like, "Oh, Hillary didn't win." I'm like, "No, dude, probably the guy I 
First of all, the guy I voted for, I voted for Bernie Sanders because he's the better choice out of the two of them. Yeah. And it's like, what do you want to give all your money into? I was like, yes, dude, actually, I do want to give most of my money away. I think we, we need more social programs. We need to put more money into the arts and, and more money into where a lot of these kids, I'll be myself was one of them, gets lost in the shuffle because I don't test well and I don't do, like, it's like, no, I... What's it? Because I asked too many questions. I used to, I was raised Roman Catholic. I used to get sent to the kitchen anytime I'd <laughs> ask a question. And listen, I am a believer in Jesus Christ. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I, which is like new for me to say that. It's just like, yeah, I've just, never, uh, listen, that's my, that. that's, that's what it's be, be, that's what it's become for me. I, I believe that God is real. I believe that there is a, a systematic destruction of family. I'm also the same guy that's going to be like, if you're telling a gay person that they can't get married, wait, like, dude. But it literally is not doing anything to you. God judges right. people. If he's got a problem with it, then I was wrong about my whole vision of God. Like, right, right. It's just, yeah. dude, there's too much wacky, like, you believe this or you believe this or, and not enough. How about we just, how about we were just very simple. Just don't be dicks. Yeah, yeah. How about that? If everybody did that, we're getting along famously. There you go. There right? you go. All right, Fred. Well, All we'll, right. Uh, Thanks, we'll, Fred. Th- thank you very much. You. Thank you for the call, my friend. Jesus, man, Talk to you later. Keep, right. keep wow, doing a good just... show. And, uh, and oh, one last thing. Yes. I was standing next to Bernie Sanders the day he decided to run for president last time. Oh, standing good. next to him in a room full of 30 people. That's yes. all I get, Bernie, too. All yeah. right. Cool. He's all a right. passionate guy, a compassionate man, and that's what I care right. about more than Thanks, anything. Thanks, Fred. Compassion. Yes, yes. Uh, hello to uh, C.K. Trowbridge, uh, who joins us in the Facebook live chat. Uh, Ed Murphy says, only thing worse than a flat earther is a hollow earther. Oh, that's actually that's actually funnier. I think is it's actually nobody's talking about. Thank him for bringing the hollow, that up. The hollow earth. Oh, I know yeah. all about that too. Oh wow, and, dude! 